Hello, how you guys doing? James here. Um, I'm just making another video, and this video is gonna gonna be a little controversial. There's a young lady that made a video, and she on TikTok, and and the video was entitled "This This Person That She Knew." And I think, I don't know if the young lady she was talking about was a Christian, but this, and maybe somebody was trying to play a double ride the wave as far as you have people out there that don't trust the Most High God 100%. James, well, how did they do they don't trust God a hundred percent because they worship idols. Hold on one minute. They, they, they worship idols. And the young lady was trying, went on TikTok and saying that and it was, and, and it was, it was, she was a black girl and other black people came at her because they worship their ancestors. And it probably didn't have nothing to do with, hey, who, who, whatever your spiritual belief is, your spiritual belief. And I'm, I'm at a point in my life and I, I say, not everybody wants to go to heaven. If some people want to remain ignorant, let them be ignorant. The truth is out there. The truth is out there about the Most High God. Common sense can, can tell you when you if you have any type of spiritual life and you've been in the church for a while. There's some people that was online that been in church and they should know this. The Most High God doesn't care about your color. The Most High God, when he, when he came to the continent like Af a, con a place like Africa, a lot of people had, he had people in the land, but there was people surrounding the land that were doing their form, form of worshiping their, to their formal God. One, one, one of the well-known ones that we always hear about that he kept on going to was in Egypt. Egypt was doing a separate thing. They were worshiping their ancestors, worshiping a foreign god. So did the people that they, in the other nations, that they, that was not the original name, but they were worshiping statues and, and worshiping, calling on their ancestors. They were, the, the, People like Apostle Paul in the New Testament, and it was a um, it was a man I believe was Saul trying to contact Samuel when Samuel, because Samuel was a well known man, he got up in age and he passed away, and and this particular man Saul wanted to consult because he was going through a time and he, and he was grieving Samuel but he needed instructions from Samuel. But he didn't know how to contact Samuel so he contacted a woman who was a witch who called summons up Samuel. Samuel which Saul was trying to do answer the contact his aunt considered like one of the ancestors. Well, the spirit of Saul sh shows up and freaks out the witch. And, and say, and, and the spirit of Saul, I mean, spirit of Samuel, confronted and said, Why have you woken me up? This is in the Bible. This is what these people that, that worship, and why have you wake, waken me? And then he didn't. And you know the rest of the story. 
he didn't have a pleasant ending because when he woke Samuel up, Samuel said, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen in the future. And Saul didn't have a pleasant ending after drawing up the spirit of Samuel. We, we, we come again. But before that, we're going to come to the apostle. You know, Paul. Paul had this woman was that knew by the spirit tapped into to the divination to find out who was this man Paul and everywhere she was agitating him and she was kind of boldly called this woman was had this divination spirit she would the the spirit the spirit that was in that woman knew what was Paul's sign was and Paul, she would agitate Paul. Finally, Paul got got angry and called that spirit and come up out of her. And the spirit of the whatever the spirit that woman up with under witchcraft, it left left her. She was consulting these people. They were consulting with something that the Most High God didn't give them. He didn't give them at the time of the area of the world in their time where they they were at in the part of the world they were at and as paul was ministering the gospel ministering the gospel they, they would come across spiritualists they would come across shamans and witch witches like that and then you hear about the one story about simon the sorcerers because when 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 the man when the man of God was healing, some, um, and, and it was the man the man with God, Jesus gave the released his anointing to heal the blind. He healed the lame. The, at the time, that's what they called it. He healed healed it. He, he healed this. Because some people say you don't read the Bible. This is in the Bible. He healed. He healed. And, and so Simon was following. He was a sorceress. So he come up on the man of God, and I forgot what it, <clears throat> it was Peter. Not Peter or some Bible. I'm, I'm not mistaken. And he and he made the spirit of God, which is. God's spirit in Christ is the Holy Spirit was angry. And he, and he the spirit that operated through Christ let them know, let that man know that you know you need to repent what you just because the man offered money because he, he sought a particular spiritual gift. Cause some people they use a spiritual gift to gain money from back in the Bible time all the way to this day. They trying to gain resources so they could tap into something, whatever they have a covenant with, will bring something miraculously to make them rich. This this is the truth. So they was consulting with the spirit, Simon the sorcerer, and there were people that Paul would go into. They would pay homage to a woman named Diana. Diana. That was the, that was a, a goddess, an aunt, a, a female goddess. It's in the Bible. It's some like an ancestor ancestry. When God, when, when Paul tried to come in there, people didn't like Paul. Just like people didn't like what this woman I'm about to show you. And say how how did how dare how dare you t t tell us no? And, and he was trying to direct them to who is can go give them life set them free and, and, and make when they leave this world they go towards the kingdom this is all this is all script scriptural this is all in the bible this, this, these stories are not fabricated these stories are not made up they, they actually, they had, they actually, there was the cities, the town, the area, and part of the Middle East 
where these men walked walk the ground because you got some people say well how do we know that there's you go to the Middle East to Israel right now they could in different parts around Turkey and place they could tell you where the disciples from the New Testament and some people from the Old Testament what part of the ground what part of the area they from they even got they even got when Lot and his wife was left Sodom and Gomorrah in that part of the world. They actually had a camera crew over go over there, and it's and it's a block, a stone block of would believe it be the figure of the figure of his wife when she turned, and the angel of the Lord told, "Do not look around." And when she turned back to look at Lot, she turned it so it's still over there to this day. It's still over to this day. Because Lot was living in Sodom and Gomorrah. And it was so much egregious sin that the stench of the sin rose up in the Bible. This is in the Bible that it hit the most high nostrils. That he sent his angels down. Because Abraham had a heart. They had a love for God. And God was concerned about Lot too. Because he as, you know, God, Abraham and God was like in, in Lot, you know. So God didn't forget about Abraham. So God sends his angels down. And you know the story about his angels, right? How the many young men and boys and other people, they didn't want, and, and, and the scripture said this, they didn't want, they didn't want the, when, they didn't want the women in there they had they had lust for these miraculous looking angels that were males. They wanted to get with the angels in in the city because they saw that the angel told that men walking through. And who is these men? And then you know the story in in the one part of the Bible. Hey, bring those men out. Bring those men out so we can get to know them. They, they, they want to introduce and shake their hand. No, 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 no. So God's angels had to, had to set it off. And he and told Lot, we got to go. Because the, their sins have reached the heaven. And the word is, we about to light this sucker up. And you know what happened. They tried to come at the door. Angel, the, the power of God come through his angels, blind, bl blinded them, and they got the family out. Next thing you know, once that, once he got the family out, God rang, rang the, the, the skies open out, boom, wiped Sodom and Gomorrah off the map. Oh, I'm just wrapping this up so it won't, it won't sound too long. The point of it is, what the bomb things was abomination. With with that situation, consulting with spirits was abomination to the Most High God. It, and he told people, even and then he picked it, come back to the very somewhere in the beginning in Genesis, where the towards the mid to end of the Genesis, I believe, where you come into Moses. And, it, and and you know the story about Moses because they played it. They played it every year. Everybody from every walks of life know the story about Moses. So after Moses gone through what he gone through from a baby to uh, up to eighty years old, he goes out. You know, God sets him free, gets him out of Egypt. The story goes, he did God rains down on Egyptians because the Egyptians could come in and put them back in bondage and probably slaughter the rest of them. He, he saved five, probably close to could, could, estimate, who knows, could have been over a million to five million people, who knows, at that time, who who ran, the, the children of, of Israel ran. I don't know the estimate number, but there's evidence that the sea over there to this day, that part of the world, there's a part on the ocean ground that Divided up, they ran 
They ran up on the sea. The Egyptians flew. Boom. The steps still upon the. On, there are characters. And the Most High God left because one day he knew man was going to look in the ocean and find out did this story, was this story true? Well, they found a will of the Egyptians that the ones that came after Moses. Why if they came after Moses, uh, they get set free. They, they, they go up before it. So they go out in, in the egg, we, you know, the, the, our, our, our oppressors are defeated, blah, blah, blah. God has the, the most high God, created heaven, earth, and everything outside the universe. Has a conversation with Moses. And why they have him partying, they have having orgies and doing all these kind of abominable things. And the, guess what they did? What they was doing in Egypt, they set up a calf to give it honor of worship. Like took something what Egypt did and they built their own God. And start praying, praying and worshiping it. So the God of the Most High who consult what the, the men they give to lead like a congregation like a a pastor or a priest so he can consult with them and, and give the lay down laws tell the people this is this is what I want done this is what I find offensive this now you gotta understand this this is the most high God creator of heaven earth they hate these people who walked in walked in the desert for 40 some years they didn't starve they closed they, they kept them up they didn't start had they was they would uh eat they yeah, ate pretty good he made sure that it, they, they were cool at warm at night cool in the day because he had the cloud cloud up over them and what was the ultimate what was the ultimate insult when god looked down from the mountain he was mad you know what they did they pulled up they they, they put a bull and they danced and, and they said this is this is our God. This is our God. This is our God. They made an image. And you know you know the rest of the story. If you watch watch around certain holidays. So so Moses came down from the mountain and and got got the commandments. Broke, broke the calf. Went back, did some more commandments, and a couple of things he told. They told the people at that time. No necromancy. One, the, the Ten Commandments. That, uh, and you, anybody can read up, but don't consult with no wit, no witches. Don't do no charms. Do not do no abominations. Do not. You know, do not steal, do not kill, do not covenants. And they said, do not consult with the dead. Most high God say this. About the point getting out, how does that affect it today? You got people, and this one woman was right. You don't consult with the dead. Because it's like if you consult with the dead, you offending God in this century, just like you, like the children of God did it back then. So there's a consequences to come. But but they get mad at this woman because it offended offended them because she pointed something that was really right. Then they said it was her religion, and even though I don't agree with everything with Christianity, some things with Christianity done, it was pretty cruel. But to be a believer in Yeshua, better known as Jesus, this is what the rules was about. Because some of the same people that think that they're worshiping, you don't know what's in that realm. You don't know what's in that realm. Unless God give you, open up your eyes to show you, to reveal it. But you have people to this day, from back then in the Bible to now, Given ancestry worship to a spirit. Now, 
Let me, let me, let me explain this to you. Your ancestors got big, they should be either with the most high or they with the devil. Two places they got to go or they someplace, something like that. The devil, and a lot of people don't understand, if God can make man come, have his angels himself walk the earth, what do you think Satan can do? He has men and women to walk the earth. And they can and they can have them because spirits pose as people who live before it. Demons and demonic spirits know everything that every person walk. Satan and his kingdom know what you pray to. They know your ancestors. They know that so they can form, transform into your ancestors. That's why the Bible said Satan come he can, as angel of light. He can look like something. What do you think it was? This is what this young lady was trying to say. But hold on. But you got people that got mad. But this is the truth. What I'm about to show you. They got mad. They actually got mad. But she was talking to people... That would probably, who either they, maybe they were riding, they were, they was trying to play the field. You're not supposed to be doing that, and she was right. But people got offended, and I feel like this. You know, I'm at the point of my life, and that's why I said some people, the ones that got offended, of this video, if they don't want to hear the truth. They, if they want they, they want to say something crazy about uh, some outlandish stuff about Jesus being being the ancestor which he is the word of God wrapped up in, in the word he was the word that described in heaven described that's what the whole story about his Bible was about the Bible was about he came word he is the flesh he is the word made up in, in the flesh. And, and he's not technically an ancestor. He came into the planet to walk among. He can't, he had a family, but that doesn't mean he's an ancestor. He's the resurrection. He's the only one that 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 hell is scared of. He's the only one that everything in that in a, in the five six dimension outside of our life probably. If there's something coming through a dimension. From another part of a dimension into our dimension, you say that name, it is been is about to find him real quick. Because he that's how powerful his name is, his blood is. But I'm gonna let you hear this. I want oh let me see, hold on. I think I put it. There's some people they really don't Seems over here somewhere. Okay. I'm I'm a person that believe everybody, you know, and it's like you know you want to help everybody, and you hope everybody make the right decision, but. Some people are just going to go to, they, and it's not that God wants to send them to hell. They, they, they know, but they choose to harden up their heart. Get, Near me searches check what these people are going to say. Which makes your Remember what I said earlier in this video. For local business, but most people have no As Christians, we don't speak to our ancestors. Those are demons. Welcome back. 
back to the channel once again it's your girl to me Bilia. if this is your first time coming across my channel you're welcome i do hope you decide to subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber you guys know that i love you it's so good to have you here welcome back so first of all our usual disclaimer this video is strictly for educational purposes please do not go searching out the people that i talk about in this video do not send them any form of hate hate comments violence or threats this channel does not support any of that so i came across this video that was made by a lady who is obviously christian because of you know what she said in her video and the kind of content she posts on her tiktok page i could tell that she's a christian so let me play her video it has come to my attention that summer walker just posted this on her page check it out this is an altar i, I just want to make sure we're aware of the fact that this is an altar this is an altar to an african goddess which she then goes on and proceeds to say that all of my prayers were answered. My ancestors slash spirit guides really, really heard me. Dot, dot, dot. And as we should know, as Christians, we don't speak to our ancestors. Those are demons. That's necromancy. We, we don't speak to the dead. What does that have to do with her music? What does that have to do with you gonna listen to music? from a practicing witch as a believer a lot of these artists use music as an outlet naturally whatever's in them is going to come out in their music and you're going to be able to feel it let's take it a step further she has a song out called i'll kill you i'll go to hell and jail about you boy who who is going to hell for, for a boy who what's up with y'all's infatuation about hell what is so appealing do we need to go over what the bible describes hell to be like there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth you are eternally what's, what's, what's separated they, from god over? fire everywhere you'll be tormented like there's so much we'd really be out here just singing whatever and they get mad when somebody points it out so you can see that she obviously had a strong opinion about what some posted on her instagram page I'm the i have comment. things to say about that but i'm just going to play some of the stitches the reactions and the comments that people made to her video and they will come back and talk as christians we don't speak to our ancestors those are demons as a person who's learning about christianity more and more every day who grew up in the church you speak for yourself as a christian or as a person that is an ambassador for the king uh, so we call the king of all kings um god and then we call the person up under him jesus oh what does that sound like an ancestor huh oh god is the ancestor of jesus and jesus is the ancestor of us oh we still we kneel at the altar at the church but when we kneel at the altar at home that's demonic oh we come in the church and cast out in spells but oh that's not demonic but when we go out and we get a reading from a tarot reader and they make us cry or we feel something in our spirit that's demonic when we sit up in that church and we get prophecies over us oh that's not demonic but let somebody from the future who knows about the future tell us about our future that's demonic but you know what it's crazy to me let the romans come in and enslave our people and tell us this is what it's going to be and change up the religion that we were once doing called hoodoo <laughs> and, and, and let them tell us that oh yes this is creation christianity and this is what we're going to do to create a better life for you and let's let's condemn our people to that and enslave them and kill them at the same time that's what you call christianity let me stop right here Number one, demonic spirits know the future too. There's certain things that they know. There were false prophets that were in the Bible that would give up th things that certain things that the devil had a little bit, little, little bit of inkling of, and there's certain things that God had an inkling of. Just, just saying. But spirituality, which was hoodoo, which we practiced before and uh, uh, over and over again. No, 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 that's demonic because y'all don't know y'all roots. Y'all don't know nothing about what the hell y'all talk about on this app. Y'all sit up here on this app and think y'all, y'all read one book and think y'all know the whole world. Baby, it's more worlds than just your world, baby. It's more books than just your book, baby. Yeah. So when y'all sit up here and y'all come on here and y'all judge people, just know that karma's coming right back because yes, karma is real. And if you read the Bible, you got to know all the stories about all this stuff but no y'all sit up here y'all want to play god you cannot be god you are not god you don't know god because you don't know yourself learn about yourself as christians we don't speak to our ancestors those are demons i got my first botox cosmetic treatment on a lunch break the treatment itself basically she was she was talking to the people who, who practicing 
Christianity and practicing other religion and, and doing this other stuff. That's who she was dressed to. To the people that were already into that, that's not. That's what she wasn't talking to them. Probably took 15 minutes to hit. Okay, I remember I said I was never going to talk about religion again just because no matter how much you bring logic when it comes to this topic, a Christian will claim like they are not seeing what you're talking about. Even if you try to go to a kindergarten level, like you bring it to that to them to the lowest of the lowest levels, they will tell you they are not seeing what you're talking about or they will act as if. Now, let's analyze this together. Jesus Christ, a lot of you always say you don't talk to your ancestors because your ancestors are demonic. They are dead. You don't talk to the dead. But let's analyze this together. Now, who is God? God is the Father of Jesus Christ. Who is Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ is, uh, in quote, in quote, someone who died for our sins and whatever. But he is dead. Don't tell me he came back. I've not seen him, so he's dead. Who is Mary? Mary is the mother of Jesus Christ. She too is dead. These two people are dead. I don't care where they are. Maybe they're in heaven as we think. Now, who are these two people? Are they not ancestors? When you sit and you pray to them, are they not ancestors? I'll go a little deep for those who are Catholics. Catholics pray to and to Angel Michael, Angel this and Angel no, that. This. Who are those people? Are they not ancestors? You pray to Saint Michael, pray to Saint this and Saint the other saints. Who are these people? Are they not ancestors? Answer me now. Why is it that when it comes to anything African, it is always seen as demonic? But when it comes to anything white, anything colonized, it's always seen as good. Please, there are more than 4,000 religions in this world. I repeat, more than 4,000. And I will not lie to you. I have never seen a Buddhist. I have never seen a Buddhist claiming to have the best religion. But you see a Christian, I have never seen a Buddhist trying to convert people into their religion. But you see a Christian, at the same time, I have never seen someone who is, is to African spirituality trying to convince someone to join their religion. But you see a Christian, you all should, you all should calm down. And you guys are always the first people to shout at the top of your voice, respect other people's religion. But it's very hard for you people to respect other people's religion. We cannot move like this. this I'm going to stop right here. Um, some people, you're not supposed to, even God, even, God said to himself, do not worship anything above the heaven, below the heavens. And some Catholics, I've made a wrong for doing that worshiping Michael or Mary. As far as Jesus is concerned, he, he is the resurrection. He, 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 he came back and he's, he's with us in spirit. And just, just in case it's for her to make that comment. Next thing next thing I want to say is that that it is is that by him being a spirit he, he lives within us. He gives us his his spirit, which is the Father is is in the Son, the Son is in the Father. He said he said that his name is in the Father, and the Father's name is in him. Now that's gonna probably be a mist story. And when the Father gives his spirit, which is the Holy Spirit, is the one to testify who he is, is to lead you in all truth and guidance. And all the young lady will have to do is ask God herself. He will reveal that to himself. Have any have any of these people ever can ask God himself since they want to make videos like this? I'm just curious. And of course, the, and of course, Michael is not an ancestor. Angels are not ancestors. <laughs> we should be praying to angels. The even the angel, any angel of the Lord that come out of the kingdom of God will tell you, don't bow and don't worship me. Worship the one who is the one, your cre the creator, who, is, who created them, who is your heavenly. You are the beloved son of, sons and daughters of Christ, Yeshua, Jesus. That's what the angels would do. It was Michael, Gabriel, anybody else. That's what, they, they're messengers. And they're here to intercede on our behalf. 
the sign to make course of life. They're not he here to be prayed to. Get that correct. No. 
know that. Like, you can't get mad at us for our beliefs. We're going to follow what we believe. Just like how you follow what you believe. She's telling Christians, not you if you're not a Christian. What you mad for? What you mad for? This is an altar. I, I just want to make sure we're aware of the fact that this is an altar. This is an altar to an African goddess. Which she then goes on and proceeds to... You know, I never really understood you Bible thumpers and your hypocrisy towards other people's religion, practices, and beliefs. When are you Bible thumper, arrogant Christians gonna realize that you need to stop freaking trying to shove your religion down the throat to other people with different practices and beliefs? And you do not disrespect another person's practice, especially when it comes to, you, to the Orishas. And saying it's demonic and how, you know, talking to the dead's necromancy and all, all this other shit. Oh, okay, so you're telling me that when you light candles and talk to the saints, you're telling me when you have a funeral for your loved ones that passed on? Baby, you're doing necromancy right there. You, you guys really need to stop fucking demonizing other people's practices. Get your shit together. As Christians, we don't speak to our ancestors. Those are demons. But let me get this right. If I'm black and my ancestors are black, but in Christianity, it is a sin or a demonic or a satanic. If I talk to my black ass ancestors, that would make Christianity anti-black. If I make an altar to honor my ancestors, that's demonic. If I do a ritual to some of my ancestors in Christianity, that's demonic. But in Christianity, if I eat and drink, the body and the blood of Christ, I can go to an altar in church. It's evil for me to manifest, but I can pray to Jesus. I can take flowers to the graveside of somebody who's dead if I do it in the name of Jesus. Beyonce is demonic, but white evangelical Christians who also moonlight as KKK members are not. Christianity is anti-black. We will never be free as a people in this country, in the world, until we deconstruct religion, specifically Christianity. You have to be delusional, brainwashed, and in a cult to follow a belief system that feels that anything that is a representation of your native spirituality is demonic. It's almost like in order to be black and be a devout Christian, you have to hate yourself. Also, it seems like a requirement is that you have to believe in this religion that you don't study, that you don't fact check, and that you don't even read the book for. And that you can just lie and say everything else that these people do is wrong, but then you do the same thing. And another thing, the thing that really grinds my gears about Christians who go so hard with the anti-blackness within their own religion is that half of you guys don't even really believe what you think you believe because you don't even read the Bible. And a lot of you guys never chose this religion. You inherited it. I know that's how it was for me when I was a Christian. You didn't have no choice. You followed the same thing your mama and them did. So a lot of y'all just listen to your preachers. You listen to your church elders. You listen to your YouTube pastors or whatever, but you never read the Bible for yourself. And it shows. We will never be free until we deconstruct from Christianity. That Summer Walker... I'm going to stop it right here. It sounds like the, the least few people that have never have a relationship with, with God themselves because if anything, if you go to a good church, the pastor is supposed to lead you, your minister, reverend, is supposed to lead you to God so you can have a relationship for yourself. The second thing... The second thing she mentioned, God is not is is not he impressed with your ancestors. He don't want you to focus on that. He wants you to focus on him. He's he is the problem solver. Again, you you, you you're not trusting him. You're not having faith in him. So when people consult and say, well. In, I'm, I'm going to pray to God, but I'm going to um, ask my grand, my dead grandfather or my auntie or my great, great, whatever. And, and I'm consulting with them. I'm, that, and that's not giving God enough time 
the Most High through His Son Yeshua, Jesus, to so and I'm, I'm pretty much telling them I'm going to another going on to another source because because maybe maybe you can you can either see before them instead of me going to God Himself. The whole point about going to church is really is to come into an alignment as a body. Are there some churches that are out of whack? Yes, there are. Are we supposed to be lighting candles to the grave? No, we're not. There's certain things, they were right. You're absolutely right. But the whole point about church is YouTube is focusing on the church instead of focusing on God. And I understand, no, there's no perfect church. I, I had to kind of repent myself because I said some, man, I said some stuff. I had to kind of repent. There's no perfect church. However, if they try to, but, but if they give you whatever God gives them in the spirit to give to you, maybe they might be a little off here and going off whole tear out of here. But, 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 but it's the point of it is, is to get you to Christ, get you to Jesus, not towards your ancestors. Because that, them, that's the one that's going to heal you. That's the one that's going to answer your problem when you're going through depression. That's the one that's going to break, break, break the strongholds. That's the one that can pull you out of death if you got some, if you're in an accident, got some disease, somebody, something strange happened to you, and something physical in your body. And you call on the name. That name will activate. Your ancestors can, can't do anything for you. In that power. It's him that got the power. It's him that got the healing. It's him you, you need to connect to. Those, God said about those idols and those gods. They can't hear you. There's even, there's even in the scriptures. They, they, they got eyes that they can't see. Ears they can't hear. Mouths they can't speak. No one's hearing you. But but if, but if you're trying to pray to something, a, a, a familiar spirit can come in the likeness of that ancestor goddess and pretend like it, and it could it could be a fallen angel, and that's that's in that's in the book too, because they take up whatever it was because they want work. They see the whole point of the body is for these people to understand this. He, 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 you know why the angels were kicked out of heaven, and along with Lucifer, some of the, some of the angels were kicked out because Lucifer, the Satan, the devil, was trying to t extract the worship and pra praise from the Father. This is the truth. He wanted to be his own god. So what he did was he he made these different religions. So he can deflect and, and, and have them divert away from the one who created him. This is what these people don't understand this. See, while you're so focused on skin, you're not focusing on the main reason. It's not about your flesh. It's not about the white man, the brown man, the black man, the yellow man, the red man. It's about, it's about us as the image of the father. Because whatever he can distract you with, that's what he tried to get you with. Because we was all beloved before we became up under these different generations of faiths and religion. We was the image of the Father, but the Father was going to do his best to utilize to bring us back to his word. And that we would come to a point where he would pick some of us. And those who choose, but if you choose to worship those ancestors, this is what I would tell them. Go ahead. Wait till you wait, wait till you come to the end. You're right. You you can worship and praise all you want to. I I, I came in that, that young lady and I would say, let her keep preaching on. And I'm glad. Because it, it they didn't do it in Paul's time. They and they didn't want to listen to Paul. 
And, G, and, and even time when Jesus' disciple, what they do? You know, he said, kick, kick the dust and keep on walking. That's what you. That's what you do. Everybody is not. You know what I've learned? It's like, man, it's like I don't understand. And she said, James, some people don't want to go to heaven. When they come to the end of their life, their mind is made up. So obviously, some of these people's mind is made up. They they made up. They they made their decision. But th I think the young young lady is trying trying to get the word out, and maybe whatever that t and and you see how satanic Satan went came to those people. It's about my flesh. It's a, it's about what about black people? It's not about that. It's about the, it's about your spirit. It's about your soul and salvation. That's what she was saying, and she was warning people that were who were Christians that were leading into that, what was trying to direct away from that. But they took offense to it, and it's like, hey, you know, you know what? You're right. You do your religion, but hey. But if you don't, if you choose, you don't want to believe in Yeshua, that I know that Jesus, it's up to you. It's up to you. You, you, you got it right. You, you got it right. But when the time comes, and as hell increased on this earth, and I pray that when they, when when you don't pro prosper in a certain area, and you watch the watch the ones who believe in the one who is the Christ, watch the ones who have the peace on their face. Watch the ones who's who's get gaining victory in lives. And so how is you so happy when when someone's thinking no, watch the one? It, it must be you no know, it ain't it sure ain't the ancestors. It ain't the ancestors that they healed the person back from cancer. It wasn't the ancestors that raised up somebody that probably was shot about their death. It wasn't the ancestors. it, it wasn't the ancestors sisters that somebody was about to commit suicide it was the ancestors that saved somebody from being being aborted it wasn't the answer it was the ancestors that saved somebody from a car accident it was that name and his kingdom that did it and no nobody no spirit no false god didn't do a darn thing no demon in hell ain't scared your ancestors not even the devil himself ain't scared of your ancestors. I would say to them, but I know I, we know who we're scared of. We know what when, when the spirit of depression. We know when the spirit of pain. We know the spirit of torment. We know what, when you say the name, something got to go. And you can call on all the fa false names and, and put and put altars and everything. It ain't going nowhere. But all somebody had, to, but but that Christian you put, picked on, all he had to do is open up the Bible and pray, and the, and the miracles coming, and all they got to do is press and press and press. Dope and those who are mature believers in Christ, those who have seen the miracles, those got their prayers answered, not by through the ancestors, not. But it cuts out with the one from the, the from the beginning to the end, and he heard their cry. He heard their concern, and you know what? And sometimes when and when you pray, sometimes the Most High will give them favor through His Son Jesus Yeshua when they least seem respected. When 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 they when their lights get about to get cut off, when they about to get put out their house. A miracle come along. Let, let so let them keep mocking. Let them keep c coming at with those same sorry stories, because time's gonna get worse in the earth. And, and let's see what what God is, what ancestors gonna show up. What God is, the, what ancestors are gonna show up. When, when, when the doctor tell you you got something in your body. And you you got six months to live. What answer what don't show up when you when when you about to get put out in the street? What answer what's gonna show up if you get into an accident? What answer if someone shoots you and you got a bullet in in, in, in your body? What answer is gonna gonna show up? Come on. What answer is gonna to pull you back from 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 someone that's about to think about taking a life? 
what answer, what, what, what God's going to show up? Come on. Come on. Because that, because that, obviously, and, you, and you've done all these things, but you still, but the problem's still there. You medicated out, and the problem's still there. I asked my question to them. You're right. You, and, you, you're right. Everybody have their choice. And all the young lady was trying to point out was she's trying to save them from something that was going to be attached to torment them for the rest of their life. And see, one, one thing you don't know about something, when you open up the door to something that claimed to be your ancestor, it won't let you go. It might keep you up. And then, then it own you. See, you don't know about, see, some people don't know about the spirit realm. People who dealt, who, who have had experiences with that stuff, deal with new age and other stuff, they can tell you. They've dealt with stuff like that. There's testimony online about that. Because they want to find another way. There's testimony, and guess who got them up out of it? Jesus did. You know the one you call it, yeah. To those ones out there, and the ones that probably gonna listen to this video. Guess who saved them? There was people in the New Age. Guess who saved them? They were being tormented, almost say, almost lost their life, laid up in the hospital. Some people almost lost their mind. Guess who healed them? Sure wasn't those ancestors. It was the one who create, created them through his son. And he's alive. And if I say that young, he's alive. He's not dead. Some people keep him in the ground. Some keep him, keep him born. But the one, the resurrection is alive. He's alive. And he's always with us. Too bad you don't, it has nothing to do with white supremacy. It has to do with the fact that you have you have no relationship with them. Anybody that thinks like that, they don't have no relationship. And Jesus offers the relationship. He sends people, but people when they hear ch church, they think religion. They think, oh, that's the white man. It's this. It has nothing to do with that. And they they're being deceived by Satan. It's caught everything by skin color culture war. Yeah, stuff happened. People use religion and it was not just Christianity. Islam and color other people did that. They religion too like that. It's the truth. Suppress people. But it doesn't mean that everybody in that no. But people use it for their own practices. But it's only one when it comes to bring you out of depression. It's only one that can bring you out of depression. You can go through the most tremendous pain in your body and the only one that can bring you out of it is him. After the doctors can tell you, the specialists can tell you, whatever's going on, going on can tell you and saying, you, you, you got my six months to a year to live. But, but I, cha I challenge these the same people. Hopefully that don't happen. Why don't you try Jesus? See what he'll say. See what he'll say. That's all I gotta say with this video. But yeah, isn't that something? It, it, but it's like he he's brought them out of worship. So people want to get go back to the thing that they put them in bondage. You got black people that won't go back to bondage to the worship. And if, we, and if we are the people of the Bible, why would you want to go back to what, what, you, what the ones that made the, the ancient Hebrews did? The ones that, in the beginning, that were worshiping and told them, don't do these idle things before the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. The, the, why would you want to go back? Why are you sharing your worship with them? That's the, that's the question. 
You don't trust him? You don't trust the one that created you? That brought you through your mother's womb? You don't trust the one? That brought you out those situations all through your life since the day your mother conceived you? You don't trust the one? You don't trust him? You don't think he's going to get upset? When in, clearly, in some of the people that was in church, you knew that. Because you, you, you hardened up your heart like Pharaoh. Because something went wrong. And you didn't give your God time to tell you, to lead you to go take you out of that church and put you in another church where his heart is at. But you got bitter. That's what happened to some of the people that was had a relationship with God. But yeah, that's all I gotta say on this video, but yeah. But she was oh she was she wasn't trying to tell him. She was trying to she told him the truth. But they dark they, 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 they result in ethnic and this it had nothing to do with that. It's about your soul and salvation. But hey, you know what? I say to some people, they get upset. That's their choice. But when they stand before the Lord, they can never say that I didn't know. I didn't know because he's going to bring it through their remembrance. And that young lady is going to be one of them. The young lady that everybody's attacking, she's going to be one of them. The, the young lady along with the young lady with the bonnet on her head. And, and, and say, you didn't know. I didn't know what you talk about. I, you and God's gonna have you. He gonna show you in real time, in real life. You was right there. You was right on that phone and that computer. I was looking dead at you. And only that when you were saying that the demon was over there was looking at you. That you was denying me. That's what he gonna tell him. Watch. What? What? All right. So, hey. All you can do is pray for people for like that, and that's it. And once you do, you know, you get get people the truth I learn. They don't want to accept it. You do your part, that's it. I'm learning it. Hey, cause some people ain't they don't want to follow Yeshua, they don't want to follow the creator, the most high, Yahweh, through his Yeshua. It's, it's all on them. And shoot, let, let them worship what they worship. But, you, but because it's a choice, no one's forcing you. Someone's just trying to, to let you know another way. They let you know. It's not about forcing you. It's about letting you know. They're trying to save your soul. Because you don't know if you're going to wake up tomorrow. That's, that's for real. So anyway, you guys be blessed. That's what's part of this message in this video. Take care.